Hey, how you doing? My name's Todd Slavic. This is my buddy Hayden Franklin. We're out here at Story's property uh, this weekend there at the buddy's race, the buddy race, and we're trying to do our next tech uh, tech tip video. What we're going to really work on today is a little bit about flat corners and also some sandy berms such as this. We've seen a lot of people having troubles, so I'm going to let my, uh, my boy Hayden here show you a little bit better ways to get through these corners uh, a little bit properly and faster, and hopefully a little bit safer too. Thanks. All right. What Hayden's going to try to accomplish is he's going to try to find out which line he's going to want to come into the turn, either the first line or the second line there. And what you're going to see him do is he's going to be standing on his bike. As he's going into the turn, he's actually going to get sitting towards the front of his tank. What he's going to try to do is put as much weight in the middle of his bike as he's going in the corner to put as much pressure down on the ground. Let's watch it. is getting into the corner, being able to put a lot of weight on your outside peg. This will actually keep your back end from trying to slide out. Go Josh. Uh, but actually as you're coming in the coming in and out of the corner, and coming out of the corner, what you're really trying to accomplish is traction. You see everybody trying to slide out and so forth. Don't be afraid to use your clutch as traction. Else that you, uh, pick your line. Yeah, you see there's a, a, a top even shelf. You try to keep your bike kind of more straight up and down than you normally would. When you're waiting for the outside peg and kind of put your bike weight to the inside maybe of your bike. Um, like Todd said, you can clutch your slide control. When you start to slip out a little bit, you pull the clutch in the air, you'll, you'll grab it back to the coming through here, he's going to start trying to pick whatever line he wants, the top shelf or the bottom shelf. As he's coming, you'll see him as his elbow starts to parallel to the ground. As he's exiting, his, he's waiting his outside peg as he's exiting out of the corner. And this you know, it will keep the front end up in the corners, gives him maximum traction. He's using that clutch as traction. The throttle
hope that all this uh, helps out a little bit more about the cornering, weighting your pegs, using your clutch edge a little bit more of your throttle, keeping your elbows up. Uh, it's kind of loud out here. I hope that you can hear us a lot, but uh, hopefully these tips will help. Uh, again, I want to thank Hayden, my buddy. Uh, next uh, trail tip we're going to do, we're going to head over to uh, Story Shop, uh, Brian Story. Uh, just because your bike's brand new doesn't mean the suspension's all set up and ready, ready to go. So he's going to tell you a little bit more about uh, how to set up your bike properly. So we'll see you then. Thanks.